we eat like uh, fruits and uh, it's a uh, it's a kind of salt like sindha namak we eat that salt nine days only we can't we doesn't eat uh, ginger garlic onion non veg just all mm, mm, don't eat in this nine oh, days oh you can't eat ginger garlic you you cannot have ginger garlic yes no what after 5 minutes can give you 5 minutes Hello. If she will join in five minutes. Okay. Oh, she said in in five minutes. All right. <laughs> I didn't catch that. Uh, okay. Hi, Vina. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. So, uh, what about you? Um, how how do you celebrate Nav Navratri? Actually, I also used to do fast, but this year I'm having some medical issue. That's why I'm not doing fast. Uh-huh. We do fast. Okay. Uh, for 9 days. Yes. We do meditation. Uh, we like this we don't have anything uh, we in the morning. Uh -huh. In the night we have fruits. Okay. Is there a particular fruit that you eat or is no, it any fruit. Of fruit? Any, any fruit. fruit. Any fruit we can have. Okay. Wow, it's really interesting. I, I I was really interested. I was re reading up about it, and I was I'm really interested in the story and how it came about. Uh, I found it really cool. Um, so um, so now you are on. You know, this is about halfway through the festival now. Yes. Halfway through it, and what what is it? So you do fasting, meditation. Is there some sort of celebration? Uh, there is a special book written um, on. Do, do, are there like? Yeah, there is a special book mm -hmm. written on Ma Durga that is called Durga Sapsati. Uh, uh, we read every day. It's a full book. I think so of three uh, hundred or four hundred, three hundred fifty okay. pages. We read every day. Uh huh. And in that in that book, it's written oh, wow. how Ma Durga killed Mahishasur, all the process through which uh, every day she killed one one uh, evil. And at the end, she killed Mahisasur on the tenth day. Very interesting. That's pretty cool. Today is the fifth oh, wow. day. Yeah, exactly. It's it's half halfway there. Yes. Okay. So, um, what you know? What what is your what is your dream? Where do you see yourself in five years now? In five years, uh, I'll. <laughs> be financially independent mm -hmm. and uh, i'll help, i'll open an ngo through which i'll help the ladies and the children poor children who are not able to study i'll help them and the ladies who are not working or uh, they they are not getting family support i'll help them to go and do jobs i'll provide them job in my school i'm going to open my school i'll provide them job in my school or through my ngo they can do a job so you to help women find employment yes okay and obviously um how are you how are you planning on finding them employment because some of them won't be teachers are you planning on having like a some they, sort of internship if, or? yes if they are not educated that much so I, they i'll provide them any skill if they can stitch they can do uh, do beautician courses or any type of courses i'll provide them through my ngo and they can do job from there very nice okay it's a very good idea i like it okay and um what do you think is going to happen in the future like it, it's 2020 and it's uh, a yeah, it's 2020, worst... 2021. <laughs> it's the worst year. Everyone is saying it's the worst year of their yeah. life. I, I think... know. <laughs> if uh, God has given me, I should have it is this year from my life. We are we are just stuck in our home, not doing anything. Just we are doing learning online ed education. 
this is good but uh, physical work is also important because yeah. even, um, because students are learning through in uh, this online classes but they are not physically fit now every time they are sitting on the laptop or phone and they are just wasting i i, I think they are wasting 5 to 6 hours on the phone either playing or either doing their online classes so i think in yeah. uh, in next 10 years this online classes will grow grow and grow and offline yeah, classes unfortunately unfortunately yeah. this online uh, will grow online classes will grow more yeah um and um, unfortunately we can't really do yeah, physical yeah. education on yes on on zoom and zoom things like that It would be great to play basketball on Zoom if we can get people moving, but I don't think we can do it. We just uh, make them clap. We just make them sit or stand. The activities we can do, but we can't make them a good cricketer or good yeah. basketballer. We can't make them. Exactly. So that they have to come out of their home. That's true. Oh, hopefully soon it will end. <laughs> yes. uh, so, um, how would you? Uh, what 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 do you consider your weaknesses to be my anger and my short temperament is my weakness and how do you plan on fixing them for that i am working very hard uh, i do meditation and uh, uh, i just when i am angry i just close my eyes and i just focus on my breath to control my anger okay and has it helped has you know bit, focusing on breath a bit has it helped yes it's helping me a bit but when it's come when i'm very much angry i lose my control that time okay. i'm not Have able you... to mhm mm today only I, not... i was asking some question to my students uh, it was oral test i asked uh -huh. them in which country do you live they were standard one student they should know the country in which they live and everyone was telling bihar 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 is a state in india and i lost my control at the end i just told just i am going to give everyone zero and the, i just ended my class <laughs> i lost my temper at that time no i don't blame you i would <laughs> um <laughs> um but have you considered maybe it might help um something like uh martial arts uh martial arts boxing okay kid i do boxing with the pillow to take out my anger yeah that it helps <laughs> yeah it helps boxing with the pillow it helps to control anger yeah to release anxiety and release tension um yeah uh that's very good um, let me just check i've got to go to anshu now aditya and kushbu so anshu you're next well done veena yes ma'am good anshu. evening ma'am how are you anshu I'm fine, ma'am, and you? I'm good, thank you. Am I saying your name correctly? Yes, ma'am. Um, what, what? Okay, so what about you? Um, what motivates you? What, ma'am? What motivates you? my parents and my teacher motivates me when when i meet with my parents and uh, when we meet uh, with my teachers then they they motivate uh, us they motivate me that uh, how to do any work they tell me that uh, you should do this work this work is very good and uh, this this work is uh, not good they tell me that what is what is right or wrong for me and uh, i get uh, i get inspiration with my parents and my teachers okay so i get inspiration from and i get inspiration from and they motivate me 
by positively yes. positively criticizing my work um, and helping me become better. Okay, and what is your dream job? My dream is my dream job is uh, that my I want to be an IAS officer in my life, and I'm I'm doing hard work for being an IAS officer. At this time, I am pursuing graduation. I'm in BSc second year. I will start my preparation in third year. In I will start my preparation in third year. When I will take admission in BSc third year, then I will start my preparation for for IES, for UPSC. Okay. And how do you keep yourself organized? What, ma'am? How do you keep yourself organized? Ma'am, I didn't understand. Uh, how how do you keep yourself organized? Organization. No. No, ma'am. I'm going to write it for you. When uh, uh, first of all, I I had started med meditation before before some months, but at this time I am not doing meditation. When uh, when I have to keep uh, myself uh, organized, then then I listen music and uh, I keep I live alone. I don't uh, I don't talk with any person and uh, I do a study and uh, I I do a study and I I focus on my on my I focus on my uh, on my goal and I think that uh, how to achieve how can I achieve my goal how to do how can I do this work better okay uh so so you always like uh, keep keep a kind of a scheduled diary of by when things are meant to be done. Yes, am I understanding right? No. Anshu. Yes, ma'am. Anshu, Anshu. So you always keep a diary and of and, and how how you can improve to make it more efficient and more better and and more. Am I understanding? Yes, ma'am. All right. Um, okay. And my next question is, what is your greatest fear? Please repeat, ma'am. Uh, what is your greatest fear? What are you when scared of most? What I, I got it, ma'am. When uh, I was in, I when I was in uh, tenth, I was in, I was ten years old. Then uh, that uh, that situation was very, uh, that situation was greatest fear for me because on that time I had uh, faced. Uh, a very big problem that was in front of me uh, that was in front of me and uh, my my family members mm -hmm. and uh, i don't want to remember ma'am can you explain to me again what was this situation i'm i'm a bit confused can can you explain okay, it because the volume went went off sorry Yes, of course, ma'am. When I was ten years old, then then my mother has had did and yes, and we was very. 
Are you getting me, ma'am? Yes, 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 I'm hearing you. Uh, your mother was very... Had... Yeah, she has did. Yes? Oh, she passed away. Hello? Hello? Anshu? 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 Okay, uh, Aditya? Aditya? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Are you hearing me okay? Are you hearing me okay? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. So, what about you? How are you celebrating? What are you doing? May I repeat the question? Uh, how, how do you celebrate Navratri? Okay. Navratri is a festival of nine days. Mm -hmm. And how are you and celebrating it? What are you doing? My, me and my family usually wake early in the morning for taking bath and worshipping Goddess Durga. Okay. And my parents, mm -hmm. my parents chant, I exactly don't know what is the name of the mantra, but I think that is Dhyan Mantra which is a very long mantra, which is spoken to goddess, which is spoken in praise of goddess Durga. Okay. Yes. And at morning, we also worship goddess Durga with, with diyas and an incense stick. We also visit temples to worship goddess Durga. We also decorate the idols of goddess Durga with some flowers and lights. Very nice. And and why do you celebrate it? Is there something special? Why do, do, do you why do you, why do you want to celebrate it? Why do you celebrate it? That means why we celebrate Navratri. Mm -hmm. Is is it that why, question? Why do you celebrate? Yes. Why why do you celebrate it? Okay. As as I know. There was a devil named Mahisa Sur. He was troubling all the people in earth. So, Goddess Durga came to earth and she had a fierce battle with Mahisa Sur for nine, for nine days. And mm -hmm. then on the 10th day, she killed Mahisa Sur. So, okay. because of that, we celeb celebrate Navratri. Okay. And what about you? Why do you celebrate it? Is it because your family celebrates it or do you really want to celebrate it? We really want to celebrate it as me, my family and all my neighbors celebrate it with great enthusiasm and with great fun. Means now because of this pandemic, there are no means we cannot visit to any pandals and, pandals and all, but previously we used to visit many pandals and worship Goddess Durga, enjoy some local food and rites. What are pandals? Sorry. What are they? Are they like uh, like, like uh, areas like marketplaces? No, means like we have like we have temples which are made of bricks. Sorry. Okay. But, means, but yes, but pandals are not made of Bricks, but they are made of some marbles and all, which is only stood up for two or three months to celebrate Durga Puja. Oh wow, they are so they are put up for three months for this. Wow, that's 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 very. I mean, that, that's very dedicated and interesting. Lovely. Okay, and what about you? What are your hobbies? My hobbies is learning, reading books, and playing chess. And what kind of books do you like to read? I like, I mostly like adventurous books. Okay. Can you name me one? What's your favorite one? It's Famous Five, Five on the Kirin Island. 
Very nice. I used to love reading Famous Five. Do you like Secret? Yes, I have read. Means I have read only half part of a book of that series. Half of the series. Half of the Secret Seven series. No, no. Wow. Oh. No. Only half part of a book of that series. Oh. Oh, of ha half a book from that series. Okay. So yeah, I used to love them. I used to love Nancy Drew as well. Oh, brings back memories. Okay, and what? How? What? What makes you unique? What do you think makes you unique? That I help everyone. I never hesitate to help someone. Okay, and. Can you describe yourself in one word? Ambitious. Would you ambitious? Good, very good. And on on that, what is your greatest accomplishment so far? Okay, I was I had participated in an online quiz, which which was an intra, which which was an intra school quiz, and mm -hmm. at first I was in the sixth number. There were uh, total total there were ten questions, and till the sixth question, I was in the last means not last. I was in the sixth number, but as I answered the seventh question, I directly came to the first number. So that was the biggest accomplishment. Oh, okay, you placed you were you had placed uh, sixth. You had placed sixth and then placed first. Yes. Okay, good. And Kushbu, are you there by any chance? Kushbu? Okay, I'm trying to make sure that you get uh, some, some more questions as well. So just the last couple of questions to you. Um, so if I were to ask you, uh, what makes you uncomfortable? Uncomfortable when my kids, uh, when my kids uh, play and throw all the stuffs in the, my bedroom, on my kitchen, on my uh, living room, that makes me uncomfortable to arrange. And how how do you define success? What does success mean to you? Success is like a blessed, blessed So if uh, if a happily family we are living here, then it's also a. a success of my life, my achievements. So it's achievement, happiness, it's it, it's not just job or money. No, only no. live happy is uh, good. Lovely. And uh, what is, what do you think your, is your superpower? Mm, I think uh, my belief in God and my strength and my confidence is my superpower. Okay. And if you could retire tomorrow, if you could stop working, what would you do? I, I enjoyed with my friends and I want to visit uh, all the, I go for world tour with my family and okay. enjoy with friends and family members. That's it. Okay. And Describe your favorite movie scene. I like comedy movies, but uh, I don't. I don't have idea now. Uh, I like also my Robo movie, which my kids like. That movie Robo. It's a kind of duplicates. Lot of duplicates start fighting to enemies, and uh, it's like 100, 200 duplicates. Uh, so it's like a some some type of comedian scenes also. So my kids and me start laughing. That's cute. Um, and okay, so think about a favorite movie scene for tomorrow because I'll try and ask you that question. Okay. And what do you think uh, are your weaknesses? Mm, my weaknesses? My weaknesses, of course, my kids. <laughs> if I'm here in front of you, what they are doing outside, uh, what they are doing in, in my absence, I don't know. So they're constantly on your mind. 
Yes, yes. What they are doing inside, or maybe down the stairs. I am sitting here in front of you and doing uh, my English work. So we we need to we need to work on that to try and try be, try yes. and come. <laughs> The working there, what they are doing is start crying or maybe <laughs> spread out or maybe yeah. hurt. Well, I won't keep you too too much away from them because we we have arrived towards the end of class. But I wanted to make sure that I've asked you a couple of questions because I know you left at the beginning. Um, so I will see you tomorrow. Try and remember to pick a movie scene so that you can talk about it. Um, well done for today, guys, and I hope you have a fantastic uh, day during the Vartri. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. See you.